it's rightly said you can't build a great building on a weak foundation similarly you can't be good at data science with a weak statistics foundation hey hi i am pretty sure you would have guessed about today's video topic before i address the elephant in the room it would be really helpful if you can click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for future amazing videos that i create on data science and machine learning without wasting any further time let's get started given statistics is such an integral part of data science and machine learning how should one go about learning statistics for data science and machine learning well this video explains you exactly what all you should do in order to prepare well for data science and machine learning algorithm remember data science and machine learning is an ever evolving field to keep track of everything that is happening is a very difficult task but if your base is strong if your foundations of statistics are really clear then i'm pretty sure picking up new concepts wouldn't be that difficult so without wasting any further time let's get started with the actual recommendations on how i would have started statistics if i were given a choice today i have already created a video on the best books for data science and machine learning and i covered a book called as business statistics by ken black in my recommendation for how you should start mathematics but again since this video is entirely about mathematics i don't mind covering such an awesome book again if you're planning to enter data science and machine learning i am pretty sure you would be in different stages of your career some might be just beginning their career some might be very senior in their respective organizations imbibing data science and machine learning can be overwhelming now essentially if you want a book that kind of gives you the statistical concepts in a way that you can digest really easily then business statistics by ken black is that book let's jump directly into the book and see how amazing it is well what can i say about ken black ken black is that book that i actually used to kick start my journey in data science and machine learning let's go over the index part of the book to understand how this book is laid out looking at the basic content the book is divided into multiple units the first unit gives you statistics the introductory part then it goes on to discuss about distributions and sampling then we reach the inferential statistics in the third unit and you also have regression analysis and forecasting that is laid out really well in this book let's also go forward and understand each topic that is given so you have introductory statistical concepts you have descriptive statistics you will have a better idea of what a median is when to use median over say mean value the various charts which are available which is also something that is very well laid out here you have different scores i am pretty sure you would have heard of z score where is it actually used is very well written in this book so i would highly encourage all of you to go through this book and understand the key concepts of data science and machine learning the building blocks of data science and machine learning is the statistical concepts of laying down a hypothesis validating a hypothesis using the different tests which are there this book gives you the entire picture that you ever wanted in order to understand statistics in a better format so i would highly encourage all of you to kind of go through this book and appreciate the amount of effort the author has put in to create this amazing book now that you know how amazing the book is is it the only thing that you require for transitioning into data science and machine learning sadly no a lot of people like to go through theory a lot of people like to understand theory in and out but what about visualizing statistics if you can visualize statistics then essentially you're not mugging up formulas you are understanding the concepts of statistics in the most simplified term so visualization holds a very big key in statistics now what do you do in that case how do you better visualize concepts such as a chi square test or an anova test anova test chi square test all of these tests play very vital roles in a lot of processes that you go forward in machine learning and data science how do you better understand what you are trying to achieve say by visualizing concepts it is here that a good youtube channel can come into picture now the channel that i'm about to mention is something that i feel a lot of people don't recommend but i have kind of learned a lot of statistics from this amazing channel called as stats fun i really have high regards for statistics fun as a youtube channel 
because it's helped me understand statistical concepts more visually rather than say theoretically or learning by mugging up formulas and so on and so forth so the idea of this channel is very clear it tries to demystify all the concepts related to statistical test visually rather than paying more attention to the formula so let me go into the playlist section so as you can clearly see there are multiple playlists which are created so all the playlists i have kind of gone through them entirely and i have understood a lot about statistical concepts such as z scores t test two way anova in a more visual manner rather than the theoretical manner i would highly encourage all of you to go through the channel and make the maximum out of the videos that you can kind of say learn from without paying any single rupee now an obvious question that a lot of you would have is how do i go through so much of concepts using videos videos do take time i mean uh, if you have to go through each and every video you will have to give around 5 to 10 minutes on an average how do you go across concepts visually and yet not spend so much of time it is here that an amazing website called as seeingtheory.com comes in handy i see that you're making a note in your notepad regarding the things that i'm just sharing well you don't even have to take that pain all the things that i mention in this video you can find each and every link to whatever i mention in the description section of the video so feel free to have a look in the description section of the video coming back to what i was mentioning let's go over the simple demo that i have in mind for seeing theory and how you can better utilize it this is the amazing seeing theory website so let's click on start It's the most amazing website that you will find in order to visualize concepts and then remember it for a long time rather than relying on say formulas to understand and remember a concept this website gives you proper visualizations in order to understand what central limit theorem is what variance is what chance events are what probability is I won't go in depth of the chapters which are existing If you want to visualize what compound probability is, what probability distributions are, what random variable is, what central limit theorem is, you will also understand in this exercise of central limit theorem that how a normal distribution is formed. You have frequentist inference as well, which covers topics like confidence interval. So all these concepts are visually explained that give you a sense of what is actually happening rather than going over a formula which you may not use at a later stage. So. This is an amazing website and I would highly recommend all of you to go through this website play around with it and understand more of those statistical concepts visually rather than mugging up formulas Linear algebra is the backbone of machine learning and data science if you want to understand linear algebra more then here's my first recommendation that you should really check out I am pretty sure most of the data scientists would be aware of 3 blue one brown youtube channel It's that amazing channel that helps you visualize concepts which are very complex to understand. Most of it is something that we've already mugged up in school colleges without understanding the physical interpretation. What this channel gives you is the exact physical interpretation of different concepts that you've learned long back. While I was going through principal component analysis, one thing that stood out for me is the visualizations of eigen values and eigen vectors. A lot of these concepts like Fourier transforms which are used heavily in signal processing applications. So this is that one channel that not only me as a data scientist but anyone who is kind of watched and appreciated the visualizations that 3 blue one brown has would kind of recommend easily to anyone who wants to understand the physical interpretation of linear algebra. Let's go on to something that is equally impressive that is I'll be sharing or I'll give you a walk through of the various blogs that I refer to in order to better visualize and understand linear algebra concepts these are simple github pages which have been contributed by individuals and they are simply amazing I remember visiting this github blog around 1 and 1/2 years back when I was about to start my deep learning journey and this blog gives you a very good visualization in terms of linear algebra concepts starting from simple scalar vector and matrices how is multiplication carried out really well laid out graphics is what is included in this blog 
if you also want to understand what a diagonal matrix is it will give you the right amount of visualizations what is eigenvalue what is eigenvalue decomposition what is singular value decomposition i can highly recommend this blog for linear algebra which will help you visualize the concepts of linear algebra in very much simpler terms the more you visualize the more your concepts would become clear when you think about these concepts of linear algebra recently i came across the second linear algebra blog which kind of helps you visualize the linear algebra concepts in a very simplified term don't worry about the link of the blog all of that would be present in the description section of the video look at the amazing visualizations of how a function is all of this is created using python we have reached the geometric vectors place you have an equivalent implementation of the concepts in python done as well using numpy look at the amazing visualizations that are created using python numpy and matplotlib so for people who want to say revise linear algebra concepts i would highly recommend this blog and this blog would teach you much more than what a lot of books would teach you online so i would highly recommend all of you to go through this blog the link is again in the description section of the video so feel free to check this out as well so this is all that i had in terms of how i would have restarted my statistical learning or say brushing up my linear algebra concepts for data science and machine learning i hope you found this video informative if you do like the content that i post on my channel then please consider clicking the subscribe button to be notified for future videos and thank you again for watching my video